Hey everybody, in the news today, it looks like Time Magazine has chosen Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as person slash persons of the year. And of course, uh, Twitter is, uh, people on Twitter are going nuts on this, wondering how Donald Trump is going to react. And probably Trump is going to go ahead and, you know, print up his own Time Magazine cover with, you know, himself on there. And he's probably going to be going ahead and saying how Time Magazine is fake news and liberal press hates him and all these other things. You know, how it'll offend his poor little precious little snowflake, uh, thin-skinned ego, which, of course, is, is his, you know, that's the, that's the hallmark of being Donald Trump is to have, you know, thin skin and being a complete snowflake and taking everything personal. And, um, but to another side of that, I would personally have chosen the American voter the American electorate as the person's people of the year because uh, on one hand Biden got 80 million and Trump got about 73 million so you know it's record turnout there, there, there's, there's never been that many people who voted in a US national election ever so and both sides were energized and both sides competed hard and fair and you know the one side won the other side lost obviously Trump's side has yet to concede that stuff and he has all these Republicans signing all, all these Texas lawsuits and this and that, but that's a whole nother, another issue for another rant. But you know, I did want to talk about the Time Magazine naming uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as persons of the year. And I don't know what you all think about it, but yeah, I would have chosen the American electorate. I would have said the American voter was the persons of the year just because of the sheer numbers of voters that happened. I mean, if you take 80 million on Trump's side and 73 million excuse me, 80 million on Biden's side and 73 million on Trump. Well, eight and seven is 15 through three. So we're at, we're at, you know, in excess of 150 million people went ahead and cast a vote. Whereas, you know, Obama, I mean, he was getting in the 70 million range and, and, you know, McCain and Romney were getting in the 60 millions and stuff. So we were talking maybe 130 million, something like that. So it looks like there's about 20 million more people voted this time around. You know, more people voted uh, for the loser and than they have ever been for a losing candidate, and more people voted for the winning candidate than has ever been before. So to me, Time Magazine should have made the persons of the year, the people of the year, the American electorate for voting like this. So I'm just kind of wondering what you guys are thinking out there. I think maybe Time went ahead and just made this, maybe because they want to get rid of Trump, and they're happy that they got rid of Trump, but it's not really Biden and Harris that got rid of Trump. It's the American electorate. It's the voters, the 80 million voters who voted for Joe Biden. Those are the people who helped get rid of Trump. So if any of you out there have any thoughts on that, let me know how that is. But that's what I think. I think Time Magazine should have made the American voter as um, people of the year. Thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, got a link the description down below and uh, got some links to some other sites. And please go ahead and subscribe and uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think, positive or negative, about anything I'm saying. Thanks. Bye.